And welcome back in today's climate matters. Bird flu has been on the rise this winter and the changing climate is having an impact on why we are seeing this spread. Storm tracker for meteorologist Daniel McFarlane has more. During the first week of the year, we saw a death from this new strain of bird flu in the United States, and this has a lot to do with changes in bird migration. Temperatures have been warming across planet Earth for at least the last 130 years. Birds tend to migrate in fall and in winter to warmer weather, but these changes in temperatures and other variables are causing them to move to different locations, mixing with other bird populations that could spread a virus. Experts have been warning that this new H5N1 virus is spreading quickly, especially with geese and other waterfowl. That's one important thing for people to know is that if they've handled dead birds or sick animals, especially cats, for example, uh, they've uh, congest ingested raw milk and they have flu-like symptoms, headache, uh, sore throat, uh, shortness of breath, cough, that they let their providers know. According to Audubon, Vermont, a group who worked on the conservation of birds, they say that the warming temperatures have either delayed some bird migrations or have changed their patterns altogether, which could lead to some species that have never encountered each other before meeting in a very small space. Bill Menard is a bird watcher who lives in southern Arizona who does visit the Sweetwater Preserve on the west side often and says he has noticed some of these changes. It seems like when I was first here there were more birds in here, but you know they come and go with the seasons. Bird migration patterns are going to continue to change unless we start to see more steady temperatures in the U.S. From Midtown, Daniel McFarland, back to you.